Hello YouTube, uh, today I'm going to talk about foundationless frames. Uh, why would a person use foundationless frames? Uh, first of all, it's cheaper. Uh, foundation is probably about a dollar per frame, so each box has ten dollars with just the cost of the foundation, not including how much it costs to ship it. Uh, also, if you're buying wax foundation, uh, you have to worry about cross-contamination. So many beekeepers these days are treating with uh, chemicals, apistan, check mite, things of that nature, and it builds up in the wax. And of course, where do beekeeping companies get their wax? They're getting it from, from beekeepers. And a lot of beekeepers, like I said, use the chemicals, and they do end up in the wax. So it just eliminates uh, one way that your uh, hive could be contaminated with the chemicals. Uh, there's also the possibility that you're going to get an improvement in uh, the varroa mites, how well your bees are handling the varroa mites, because um, as you continue to use the uh, foundationless frames and let the bees build what they want to, they are probably in the ensuing generations going to build smaller cells. Of course, the thought is the smaller cells, uh, the, the bees will hatch out uh, faster out of their brood, and therefore the mites have less time to reproduce, which obviously less reproduction is a good thing. Now, let me show you how to do it. Uh, my preferred method, you can buy the foundationless frames already ready to go from places like Kelly B. But again, if you're cheap like me and you want to do things yourself, uh, what I've found to work the best is a wedge top frame. You just take the wedge and uh, pop the wedge out, just like that. Then you'll need to clean this area out with a knife. I'm not going to take the time to do that now, but you, you clean these little extra areas off with a knife to make it flat. Take the part that you, that you popped off and turn it 90 degrees to the frame, uh, like so. I like to put some tight bond 2 glue across there. And then you can either use a hand stapler or I like to use my electric stapler to go ahead and get that stapled in there. Once you've got it done, it will look like this. So it gives the bees a section to start on. Some people will put wax on there as a starter. Uh, you know, kind of tell the bees where to go, but you know, I think the bees are smart enough to figure it out for themselves, and so uh, I just leave it natural and let them attach it uh, how they want to. Here's an example of a frame that they got started on, but uh, you know, the season ended and they weren't able to finish it, and I didn't need it in the hive, so I went ahead and withdrew, uh, took it out of the hive. And as you can see, you know, once they've done some brood in there and everything, it's actually pretty solid. I wouldn't do that with one that was freshly drawn. Uh, it would probably collapse on you. Here's what uh, it can look like when it's fully drawn. And uh, you can see they like to leave communication holes and things of that na uh, nature. This is a frame that uh, probably either will get cycled out uh, this winter or maybe I'll let it go uh, one more year and then I'll go ahead and melt it down and use the wax for candles and such. When you're using foundationless frames in your hive, there are some important things to, to consider when it comes to foundationless frames. Uh, you'll want to make sure to have your hive, uh, make sure that it's level from side to side. So this way to this way. So because when the bees are drawing uh, their comb, you know, they start out festooning and they're going to grab onto this bar and they're going to hang down just like a, a plumb bob that a carpenter might use. So if you've got the hive level side to side, when they hang down, they're going to hit the bottom, and so you're going to have the comb is going to be built straight up and down. The other thing to consider when drawing out foundationless frames is it's important to draw them between brood, uh, so two frames of brood. So you might want to have it uh, sort of this orientation. You'd want this frame to be full as well and draw that empty frame between two solid ones. If you put an empty frame between two frames of capped brood that are getting ready to emerge, when they emerge, that middle frame is going to get drawn out faster than you can believe. Now, if you need to draw out some foundationless frames in your honey supers, what you'll need to do is either A, you can start them, if your frames are all the same size, you can start them out in the brood nest and then move them up once they start drawing it. If you don't have all the same size frames, well, you could still take mediums and put them in the, in the brood box and get them started and pull them out before they start drawing on the bottom, uh, on the bottom bar. But if they did, you could always cut that off. Uh, the other thing is, if they're drawing it in the honey super, you don't ever want to put an empty frame between two uh, combs of honey that aren't capped yet. 
if they're not capped, they may just go ahead and keep drawing that honey out fatter and fatter to a certain extent. And you'll just end up with, with this honey frame drawn out into here instead of them drawing comb in here. And it'll be a little bit of a mess. So if you've got capped uh, honey on both sides, they'll go ahead and draw this frame out just nicely because they're not going to cut open the, the cap cells so that they can draw it fatter. They'll go ahead and recognize this as a space for a new frame and uh, go ahead and get it drawn out for you uh, probably perfectly. So again, the important things are uh, hive level side to side. Front to back doesn't really matter. I know most beekeepers like to have it uh, leaning just a little bit to the front to letting water drain out the front of the hive. Uh, but side to side is important. And if you're gonna draw foundationless frames, go ahead and make sure to do it between uh, capped uh, brood. That's where you'll get the fastest, best result or capped honey in your, in your supers. Uh, this is RW Jetty signing off. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them here. Thanks. Bye.